I pray that we can finally use this as a nation to end the racial discrimination that is happening in this country. This is our Mississippi. It was a landmark ruling, one that many people hoped would positively impact First Nations kids in care. A year later, the child welfare advocate who's been fighting for equality for 10 years says it's extremely disappointing. It's an outrage, you know, like I know 10-year-olds in my own life. And this is what has been so hard in this case. I've said to people repeatedly, the hardest part is the waiting around, where you see these children um, suffering irrevocable harm. She says the government has failed to comply with the tribunal's orders to increase funding and implement Jordan's principle. I am extremely disappointed disappointed in this government. This was the Truth and Reconciliation's top call to action, Jordan's Principles Number 3. It, the tribunal set out a very clear plan on how to achieve them. They were really easy uh, TRC uh, calls to action to implement, and they've chosen not to do it. The executive director of the Yorkton Child and Family Services in Saskatchewan was one of 25 witnesses at the Human Rights Tribunal. He described the shortfalls his agency has to deal with. When the decision came out, he was hopeful that those needs would finally be met. Not even. Um, patience is kind of uh, wearing fairly thin. Uh, we've, we've waited uh, 10 years. Uh, for my uh, child and family services, we've waited uh, 20 years um, implementing uh, practice and, uh, and funding uh, that, that didn't meet the, the needs of our, of our children and our families. And with the ruling coming out, we, uh, we expected that uh, we would have a, a child-first uh, system. According to the Minister of Indigenous Affairs, there's been some movement. We are, uh, I think, feeling that we have made good progress, uh, that the funding has been made available uh, to the agencies to, to actually uh, deal properly with children, but we also have made, I think, excellent progress on, on beginning those conversations about the real reforms that have to take place. But Blackstock says First Nations children are in need of immediate action. That's why her organization, along with the Assembly of First Nations and the Chiefs of Ontario, have filed non-compliance motions with the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal. Those hearings will begin in March. Annette Francis, APTN National News, Ottawa.